What's going on guys? Thanks for checking out Black Diamond Guns and Gear. I'm Josh. And I'm Josh. Today we're talking about Glocks. It's no surprise that we are Glock fanboys. So what we're talking about today is optics. The optics that we put on our Glocks. This one here is a Glock 45 with a Holosun 507C. Now it's solar charging, but it does have a battery in it. It makes it stick up a little high, so you have to have suppressor height sights if you want a co-witness. This is the Trijicon, the first one, right? It is an RMR so, 01. RMR 01. It sits a little lower because it's an RMR and it sits on the slide and it sits directly to the Zev slide that this is on. That's pretty cool. It allows you to co-witness with regular height sights and not have to have suppressor height sights like this one. But what we're here to do a video on today is the Holosun SCS. This sight system is specifically made for the MOS system. This is the SES MOS GR. This is the green dot sight system from Holosun. Now, this is the SES. This is the solar charging system. This sits directly on top of the slide, not having plates, not having all that bullshit that the you know, regular sight system normally has. So Holosun made this specifically for your MOS system. So it sets even lower than this one does. That's what's so amazing about it. That's what makes this a concealed carry genius in my opinion. So we got out of the range, we actually kind of got rained out out there, but we were talking about basically how most red dots you see, like this one here, this is a really popular 507C. This is a really popular red dot. I mean, he has it on that 509. This is a HS407. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is 407C, even bigger. Yeah, even bigger than that. So they sit up really high. The thing about this SCS is how close it actually sits to these to the optics that you're running. So if you look at it, it actually has serrations. Serrations, serrations on the back of it are actually made into the actual optic itself. This optic was specifically made for the Glock 19 MOS so much that it actually has the serrations on the actual optic itself to match. That is really cool. So we've been playing with it at the range. And to be honest with you, uh, like I, we were talking about this Trijicon one uh, being really far down and being on the slide itself, right? Yes. So there are optics out there that do that. You don't have to have a plate for it. It is connected to the slide itself, which is good because it also doesn't allow you to have a failure point. The plate is considered to be a failure point. I've had it fly off and hit me in the face before. I remember that. So I laughed a, quite a bit. It's on our Instagram. You can go find it. But I had this uh, 507C actually fly off and hit me in the face. Josh is the one to put it on the slide. He blamed me for it. I mean, you're the one to put it on there. The MOS system failed. <laughs> yeah, the plate sucked. Uh, but yeah, so that's when I ended up getting the CHPW plate, which those plates are awesome, and they do work really well as far as plates go. But not having the plate and having to actually connect to the actual slide itself is better in my opinion than having to rely on it to be on a plate now when we're shooting this at the range and uh like we said we are not very dot enhanced i do really good with side sights yeah 
I'm not very uh, good with red dots yet. We're still learning. We are very much in the learning stages of doing red dots. Hello, son. SCS in the rain. It's empty, there's no mag in it. <laughs> huh? I don't see any, uh, it's not really showing any, uh, like dilution or whatever you want to call it. What did you think about this site being so low to the actual uh, sites themselves? Okay, so this is just me. Uh, I know that when I pull the pistol up, and I know where my iron sights are immediately, that is about where this red dot is gonna be. I don't have to fish for it, like if I pull this, you know, FN up, or these other Glocks, or the Zev, sometimes I've gotta fish for it. Yeah. Um, there's also videos out there that have taught me to not fish for it as much, that shows me my natural point of aim with a red dot. Yeah. Um, but, in saying this, I know where this is, and I know where my iron sights are, and that's what I'm used to is pulling it up, getting iron sights on target, yeah. and this red dot seems to help with that. I think that, for the most part, when you have something like this that sticks up a little bit higher, like with this plate and everything like that, you have to... There's more of a learning curve, in my opinion. Yeah, there's a way you yeah. can do it. I'll link a, uh, a video down in the description below, but there's a video that the 1911 Syndicate did of the uh what's the guy's name modern samurai yeah he is a very good instructor and a very good teacher when it comes to showing you how to get your dot and actually how to uh, how to get it on target and stuff like that quick and all that stuff i'll link that down below i would definitely watch that video or go watch any modern samurai videos on him teaching people how to find their dot He's really, really good at it. He gives you a technique that is very, very easily to do and easy to get on target. So I'll link that down below. But that's basically, I thought I was going to have zero problem pulling this out and getting it to sights just because, like we said, it's basically like you're pulling up your iron sights like you're shooting normally and it should be fine right there. It is for the most part, but my problem is I get into my head. I get into my head and I think, oh, I got to find a red dot, not... I gotta pull it up and shoot like I normally do. That's my problem. So as long as I can just forget about that and pull it up and shoot like I normally do, pull it up to get the sights on target like I normally do, that red dot is there. Yeah. And it's because this thing is so low. So it's not the red dot's fault, it's my fault as my presentation. That's what I gotta work on. But man, I gotta say, if I'm gonna carry any red dot out of anything here, I think it's going to be the Holson SCS. I agree. Not only because of how low it is, but because of the actual solar charging stuff that it does. It being no battery, and the fact that it's just solar, that's pretty awesome to me. Don't have to worry about it. Don't have to worry about changing it. Don't have to worry about keeping up with it. Don't have to worry about it going out. It's all solar all the time. And it uh, takes up to 20,000 uh, battery hours, which is insane. All right, guys, I know all you can do is really take my word for it, but this Holosun SCS has been in this container. Uh, I'm going on uh, about four days now, I think. We're just going to take a peek in here and see if this thing is still going strong. So we can get it out of here. Maybe it'll turn the light off. I think it's going to pick up residual light anyway. But this will go to show you, take it out of your pants. You don't really have to worry about it not being able to come on. I mean, look at the couple of seconds I've had it out here. And there she is. There's the dot. You can't see it with camera filters, so this is done with an iPhone. Um, with the, N, the ND filters we have on the camera, you can't really see the dot, but there the dot is. There's the small, tiny button on the side that you hold down and change the reticles. There is the, which red will go with that? That is the circle. Off. 
on with the circle and the dot reticle. And then the dot reticle was the first one we put on there. So just that little bit of time that we had it out of the container, you can tell that, uh, I mean, it picks up the light really well and turns it on pretty quick. My conclusion of the Holosun SCS, I definitely think it's worth 350 bucks. I definitely think that I'm gonna try to find it for my other red dotted pistols. Maybe yeah. they'll maybe they'll make one for the 509. They do. Do they really? Yeah. Okay, well, um, there we go. They make it for the 509s, they make it for the Wathers, uh, MMPs, a bunch of different models, man. They started out with the MOS and the Glock because they know that that's the most, I'll say it's the most bought pistol out there, right? Yeah. Right now, Glock is ahead of the game. They're the most bought pistol out there, period. That's not really a discussion. But then they knew they had to make it for everybody else because not everybody carries a Glock. Well, you're wrong if you don't. But anyway, that's another discussion for another subject. Different day. I like this thing. I will definitely go and tell everybody about it and make everybody know my Holosun SES. That's literally the best one they've ever made. My favorite. When I get better with this thing, I'll be carrying it. Guys, thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by North Coast Tactical and the Big Dude Holster. Go down and check it out and uh, buy you a Big Dude Holster if you want something that's going to be comfortable for you to wear all the time. That's where you need to go. Especially with your red dotted pistols. Yeah, because they're all optic cut. Always go check out US All Shield. At usallshield.com, sign up and use promo code BDGG. Not only will it help out the channel, but it'll save your ass in a pinch. Now you can also get 14 months for the price of 12 when you or when you sign up and use the promo code BDGG or the link in the description below. That helps us out a lot and it gets you a good deal on US All Shield. If you don't know about US All Shield, just go to their webpage and read the description because it's awesome. You can also go check out all of our merch at ballisticink.com. We really appreciate it if you go check it out. Got a ton of stuff on there, hats and hoodies and shirts. Actually, I think I'm wearing a hat. No, this is different. Anyway, go check it out. We got more stuff on there. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay vigilant. Stay safe. Stay alive. Also, check out our podcast. It comes out every Tuesday. 7-6 Tuesday.